In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, the Word of God welcomes you this morning. And as we prepare to spend this time with Jesus, as we enter into communion with Him, let us place all our intentions, let us place all our wishes at the feet of Christ. At the same time, let us also place all our anxieties, everything that worries us, everything that troubles us, let us place these things into the hands of the Lord so that the Lord may take care of it, so that He may give us the grace, the strength that we require in order to overcome these challenges that we face in life. And my dear friends, as we begin this time with Jesus, as we begin to enjoy His presence, let us also take this opportunity to thank the Lord for all that He has done for us all through our life, right from the time of our birth till now. The Lord has showered us with plenty of blessings. He has given us abundant graces and He will continue to do that in the future also. And therefore we need to be grateful, we need to be thankful for all that He is doing for us. Let us thank the Lord for the gift of life, for giving us talents, for giving us various abilities to do various things in different capacities. Let us also thank the Lord for giving us the gift of this new day, for giving us this opportunity to spend time with Him. Lord, we also thank You for the gift of our family members, friends, relatives, near and dear ones, and all those who have played an important role in our lives. These are the people who have shaped us, molded us, who have inspired us and who have motivated us to do various things in lives. And it is because of the presence of these people in our lives that we have become who we are. So Lord, we thank you for their presence in our lives and we ask you to bless them abundantly so that all their wishes may be fulfilled. At the same time, Lord, we also take this opportunity to thank you for the gifts that you have given us, for the talents, for the abilities. And we ask you that you may give us the grace so that we may use it for the betterment of others, for the betterment of society. And together, we may be able to make this world a better place. And now, my dear friends, let us reflect on Psalm 38. We shall meditate over the psalm and then we shall spend a few moments allowing the psalm to take root in us. If you look at Psalm 38, one thing we realize that Psalm 38 is a psalm of David. And here we see that David expresses his feelings of physical and emotional pain. And this, in a way, is his cry to God for help. Now, you will notice as we start reading the psalm that the psalm will begin with David confessing his sins and asking for forgiveness because he feels guilty and ashamed. Then the psalm will slowly proceed and it will describe David's physical pain, physical suffering that he is enduring, including his bones being out of joint and his heart pounding. Now David also will express his emotional pain saying that his enemies are rejoicing in his trouble and that he is full of anxiety and fear, something that we experience in our lives as well. And therefore throughout the psalm we see that David expresses his trust in God and his belief 
that God will save him. He asked God to be merciful and not to punish him for his sins. He also asked for the help of God in overcoming his enemies. And in this way, we see that the psalm will end with David affirming his faith in God and his belief that God will ultimately vindicate him. And in general, we can see that Psalm 38 is a powerful expression of human experience of suffering. And at the same time, it also gives us the comfort and hope that we can find in God. This psalm is also a reminder for us that even in our darkest moments, even when we face difficult challenges in our lives, we can turn to God for help and we can truly find strength in Him. Now, having had a general overview of the psalm, let us proceed and read the psalm verse by verse and try to see what is the psalm trying to communicate to us. Now the psalm begins, O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger or discipline me in your wrath. For your arrows have sunk into me and your hand has come down on me. There is no soundness in my flesh because of your indignation. There is no health in my bones because of my sin. For my iniquities have gone over my head. They weigh like a burden too heavy for me. And this in a way expresses the turmoil, the suffering that David is undergoing in his life. All of us face challenges. All of us also have difficult moments in our lives. And it is during these moments where our faith and trust in the Lord is tested. Are we able to persevere in these moments? Are we able to remain strong in the faith? And therefore, this requires a lot of grace. It requires courage and it requires strength and perseverance. The psalm continues. My wounds grow foul and fester because of my foolishness. I am utterly bowed down and prostrate. All day long, I go around mourning. For my loins are filled with burning and there is no soundness in my flesh. I am utterly spent and crushed. I groan because of the tumult of my heart. O Lord, all my longing is known to you. My sighing is not hidden from you. And in this way, we see that even when we face difficult challenges in our lives, we may feel that everything is over or all hope is lost. But precisely, it is these moments that make us stronger, these moments which are indeed learning experiences for us. And therefore, here we see that David is trying to express both his physical agony as well as the emotional torture that he is undergoing at this moment in his life. Now, the psalm continues and we see that it says, My heart throbs. My strength fails me. As for the light of my eyes, it also has gone from me. My friends and companions stand aloof from my affliction, and my neighbors stand far off. Those who seek my life lay their snares. Those who seek to hurt me speak of ruin and meditate treachery all day long. But I am like the deaf, I do not hear like the mute who cannot speak. Truly, I am like one who does not hear and in whose mouth is no retort. But it is for you, O Lord, that I wait. It is you, O Lord, my God, who will answer. And in spite of all the difficulties, we see that David is still able to have faith in the Lord. This is something that all of us need to do. And the psalm continues, For I pray, only do not let them rejoice over me, those who boast against me when my foot slips. For I am ready to fall, and my pain is ever with me. I confess my iniquity, I am sorry for my sin. 
Do not forsake me, O Lord. Do not be far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. And here we see that the psalm ends with David crying for help, asking the Lord to be with him, to guide him in all his troubles. And now, my dear friends, let us close our eyes. And at this morning hour, let us thank the Lord. Let us praise the Lord. Let us glorify the Lord for all that he has done for us and for all that he will continue to do for us. Loving Father, you have given us this time in the morning. You have been gracious to us. You have given us your Son, Jesus Christ, who has cleansed us from our sins. He has taken away all our sins and he has given us new life. Lord, as you have given us the Holy Spirit, we ask you to bless us and protect us. And Lord, we thank you, we praise you, and we glorify you for all the graces that you have bestowed on us. You have protected us, Lord, and you have guarded us all through the night. And you have given us this morning hour. For your great love and mercy, O Lord, we praise you. You protect us, O Lord. You guide us. And throughout this day, whatever we do, we place it in your hands. And we ask you to be with us so that whatever we do may reflect your love, mercy and compassion to the world around us. And everything that we do may be in accordance with the plan that you have for us. And now, my dear friends, let us spend a few moments in silence, allowing the psalm to take root in us. Let us reflect on something that particularly touched us during this psalm. Allow that verse or allow that thought to take root in your heart. Let it become part of you so that truly the psalm will become personal for you and you too will be able to deepen your faith and trust in the Lord. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings on this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world in reparation for my sins, for the intentions of all my relatives and friends, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father. Amen. The Intentions of the Holy Father for the month of March for victims of abuse we pray for those who have suffered harm from members of the church may they find within the church herself 
a concrete response to their pain and suffering. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Act of Contrition O my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended Thee, and I detest all my sins because of thy just punishments, but most of all, because they offend thee, my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of thy grace, to sin no more and to avoid the near occasion of sin. Amen. Prayer to the Holy Spirit Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit and they shall be created and you will renew the face of the earth. Lord, by the light of the Holy Spirit, you have taught the hearts of your faithful. In the same Spirit, help us to relish what is right and always rejoice in your consolation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for Priests Gracious and loving God, we thank you for the gift of our priests. Through them, we experience your presence in the sacraments. Help our priests to be strong in their vocation. Set their souls on fire with love for your people. Grant them the wisdom, understanding, and strength they need to follow in the footsteps of Jesus. Inspire them with the vision of your kingdom. Give them the words they need to spread the gospel. Allow them to experience joy in their ministry. Help them to become instruments of your divine grace. We ask this through Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns as our eternal priest. Amen. The Breastplate of Saint Patrick I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through a belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the Creator of creation. Christ with me, Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ in me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ on my right, Christ on my left, 
Christ when I lie down, Christ when I sit down, Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me, Christ in the mouth of every man who speaks of me, Christ in the eye that sees me, Christ in the ear that hears me. Amen. The Angelus, the angel of the Lord declared to Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done to me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for St. Joseph's Protection O St. Joseph, whose protection is so great, so prompt, so strong, before the throne of God, I place in you all my interests and desires. O Saint Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession, and obtain for me from your Divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that, having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, I never weary contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my name and kiss his fine head for me and ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. Amen. Prayer of Thanksgiving God of all blessings, source of all life, giver of all grace, we thank you for the gift of life, for the breath that sustains life, for the food of this earth that nurtures life, for the love of family and friends without which there would be no life. We thank you for the mystery of creation, for the beauty 
that the eye can see for the joy that the ear may hear for the unknown that we cannot behold filling the universe with wonder for the expanse of space that draws us beyond the definitions of ourselves we thank you for setting us in communities for families who nurture our becoming for friends who love us by choice for companions at work who share our burdens and daily tasks for strangers who welcome us into their midst for people from other lands who call us to grow in understanding for children who lighten our moments with delight for the unborn who offer us hope for the future we thank you for this day for life and one more day to love for opportunity and one more day to work for justice and peace for neighbors and one more person to love and by whom be loved for your grace and one more experience of your presence for your promise to be with us to be our god and to give salvation for these and all blessings we give you thanks eternal loving god through jesus christ we pray amen prayer to the garden angel angel of god my guardian dear to whom god's love commits me here ever this day be at my side to light and guard rule and guide amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Litany to Mary the Loreto Litany Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Christ have mercy Christ have mercy Lord have mercy on us Lord have mercy on us Christ hear us Christ graciously hear us God the Father of heaven have mercy on us 
God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of the Church, pray for us. Mother of Mercy, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother of Hope, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, pray for us. Mother Most Chaste, pray for us. Mother Inviolate, pray for us. Mother Undefiled, pray for us. Mother Most Amiable, pray for us. Mother Admirable, pray for us. Mother of Good Counsel, pray for us. Mother of our Creator, pray for us. Mother of our Saviour, pray for us. Virgin Most Prudent, pray for us. Virgin Most Venerable, pray for us. Virgin Most Renowned, pray for us. Virgin Most Powerful, pray for us. Virgin Most Merciful, pray for us. Virgin Most Faithful, pray for us. Mirror of Justice, pray for us. Seat of Wisdom, pray for us. Cause of our joy, pray for us. Spiritual vessel, pray for us. Vessel of honor, pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion, pray for us. Mystical rose, pray for us. Tower of David, pray for us. Tower of ivory, pray for us. House of gold, pray for us. Ark of the Covenant, pray for us. Gate of Heaven, pray for us. Morning Star, pray for us. Health of the Sick, pray for us. Refuge of Sinners, pray for us. Solace of Migrants, pray for us. Comfort of the Afflicted, pray for us. Help of Christians, pray for us. Queen of Angels, pray for us. Queen of Patriarchs, pray for us. Queen of Prophets, pray for us. Queen of Apostles, pray for us. Queen of Martyrs, pray for us. Queen of Confessors, pray for us. Queen of Virgins, pray for us. Queen of All Saints, pray for us. Queen Conceived Without Original Sin, pray for us. Queen Assumed Into Heaven, pray for us. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Queen of Families, pray for us. Queen of Peace, pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
pray for us o holy mother of god that we may be made worthy of the promises of christ let us pray grant we beseech thee o lord god that we your servants may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body and by the glorious intercession of the blessed mary ever virgin may be delivered from present sorrow and obtain eternal joy through christ our lord amen pray to saint michael the archangel for protection saint michael the archangel defend us in battle be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil may god rebuke him we humbly pray and do thou o prince of the heavenly hosts by the power of god thrust into hell satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls amen act of adoration o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine Saint Gertrude pray for souls in purgatory Eternal Father I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son Jesus in union with the masses said throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory for sinners everywhere for sinners in the universal church those in my own home and within my family amen may the divine assistance remain always with us and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen